see a community living in harmony with nature more. My chivos, caciques, never said this mountain is mine. The sea is his mind. No it's ownership the, of land. No ownership of land. So like we are free. We are free. Free. Surviving on the sea would be my classroom, and the keepers of wisdom we met along the way, my teachers. My teachers. As a father, it is amazing to hear my grown son, Salem, proudly narrating the sailing movie, telling tales of the people we met along the way and the lessons we learned. Is that wizard the same as the one from the boat? Yeah, that my dad glued that one onto the, uh, the front of the bow. And you know, I know it's made of plastic. There's just something strange about it. Oil stops flowing, what will be the knowing? Our children will need. We were vagabond homeschoolers, and we wanted to show our son Salen something different. Another place chasing dreams fall apart at the seams. Sustainable power, a final hour, a technological flower. Will it be sour? While we weren't sure exactly where we'd end up, we felt like people in the industrialized world have lost their connection to the planet we live on. We began to wonder, what if we broke free in search of a better way and navigated to remote corners of our planet? We wondered if there was anywhere left out there where people remembered what it was like to live in harmony with the natural world. Color of love. Yellow is the future. Orange is the color of hot lava. So hot you cannot touch it. Blue is the color of the, the, the future. future. So my understanding is that uh, but traditionally, the Kuna culture was very uh, in harmony with nature. And that's something I feel we might have lost. Each family, we have our own knowings, plantas medicinales. So these plantas medicinales, like trees, plantas, we believe have life as well. So the, our ancestors teach us, told us, don't destroy the trees. Most of humanity sees nature as a thing, a thing there for the taking. But what if our friend was right? What if plants do have souls? 97% of all habitats on Earth have been altered by people. 97%. Maybe if more people valued nature, we would see a shift in perspective that would change the way humans interact with the natural world. Could a shift like that change the course of life on Earth? Watch out, greed, GMO seed, take heed. A race into space, another place chasing dreams fall apart at the seams. Sustainable power, the final hour, a technological flower, or will it be sour? Listen. Let me share a few actual clips from the sailing movie as a bonus. Hope you enjoy. We met many interesting characters in our new island home. Through my education, themes began to emerge. We realized that all the skills that thrive are the same. They are the same for me, for you, and for all of humanity. To make 
make that vision a reality, we would need determination, discipline, and self-control. Please join us for the next episode in our series, where we explore how the sailing lifestyle fosters the life skill of adaptability. If you'd like to check out our feature-length docudrama, The Sailing Movie, and learn more about our programs, visit us on the web at www.thesailingmovie.com. If you'd like to get notified when we release our bi-weekly short videos, subscribe below, and don't forget to tap the bell. <laughs>